says uh, Ryu versus Abel is a good match. The question is, is it good when both players know how to play the other one? or uh, It's different. Cause that's what I'm wondering about. Over last week, I was struggling with this match because I just lost to, I lost to Black Pyro twice, and he's one of the better Abel players in SoCal. So I spent the last week and half developing a new strategy against Abel, and then that strategy is rush him the fuck down. Yeah. So right now, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Choi's main philosophy, but... With Abel, he's got all those resets, a lot of throw setups. Right. And let's see if Choi knows what to do. Oh, and here's the first throw. And uh, one thing you're going to be seeing a lot from the Sable player is those, uh, that crossover kick. It's There's that mean nice. the EX Hurricane. See, and that's the kind of thing, and that's what you were talking about, Kai, is like, you know, OG knows his fundamentals. As long as he can get those moves off that allow him to link into there, you know, maybe not knowing the matchup 100% is, is not a, an extreme disadvantage. One thing that the OGs have above all the new school players is that they have a better feel for the opponent. They can pretty much sense, they can, they can have a good guess as to what the other opponent's thinking. So Choi is showcasing that part of him right now. Absolutely, and he took that first round, and this is the first set. Juice Box versus John Choi here in the winner's bracket uh, quarterfinals. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> nice and nice he caught him at that and about even back up. Choi keeping some solid pressure with some solid meaties. Abel's biggest problem is that he doesn't have a good anti-air in this matchup, so in a lot of cases we can jump in for almost free. His best move is the EX command grab, which will very nice, which can grab Choi even out of that move, out of the EX hurricane. So it's something Choi will have to watch out for. And, and the first set will go to John Choi. So I mean, I guess the question has been answered. Maybe he doesn't know Abel that well, but he does have the fundamentals. I mean. Uh, he's he's still impressive to play. And, I mean, how just watching his Ryu, like, are you, are you watching him? You don't know who's behind that stick. Are you like, this guy's got a decent Ryu? Yes. I, I see all the fundamentals, good pressure patterns, a good way to re I see him reading his opponent very well, especially on wake up. He knows that Juicebox able is looking for that command grab on wake up, and he's punishing with an EX Hurricane. And we are here in the second set. John Choi picking up set number one. He wins these two rounds, and he will knock Juicebox down to the lower bracket right now. Juicebox in the danger zone. There's those footsies. Very common by OG guys. Kambaya and Watson, and especially John Choi. And John Choi will take the third consecutive round in a row. And this could seal the deal right here. This is the first time I've actually seen John Choi play, and he is very impressive right now. Yeah, you know, we, we watched his matches yesterday. We, we were saying that he did look really good, especially when he came on. Oh. And There's one thing Ryu has to watch out for. He can't jump in for free on Abel when he has that EX meter. Nice. And he's definitely keeping the pressure on, just like you mentioned, Killer Guy. Just uh, rush him down and, and stay on top of him. Tick throws. Abel gets out. And that is not a good anti-air on Ryu, as he just noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to stay alive here. Juicebox must win this one. Otherwise, John Choi will advance with two sets one. And there it is. And Choi making a great case for himself. His very first Street Fighter 4 major. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's impressive.